Hi, I'm Terry Mann, this is my workshop and this is a short film showing how you get from a chunk of wood, this is how I buy my wood in a big plank, how you get from that to a woodwind instrument like this. First mark the required length on the piece of wood and saw. Then you can cut the piece up into billets on the bandsaw. I then cut the corners off and end up with octagonal pieces of wood. Here you can see there are six and I can put them on the lathe, turn the ends round and square up the ends of the pieces with a skew chisel. I do this to both ends. Then I can mount it in a chuck at one end and a homemade steady on the other and drill pilot holes for the bore. Then using a gun drill with compressed air blowing the chips out I can drill right through the whole piece of wood. Then turn the instrument down. Obviously it depends what you're making, turn what you want. This is being driven directly from the lathe with a wooden mandrel going down the middle of the instrument. Then I'm just sanding it here. This is a Tabor pipe based on the Mary Rose instruments. Then you mark out the center line, front and back, where the finger holes are going to go. And then actually mark places where you're going to drill. I've also marked the window and I'm drilling some pilot holes for the window and the finger holes. Then the next bit is mainly hand tools. A lot of these things you have to make yourself. Broaching tools, special knives. And using one of those knives I'm cutting roughly the size of the window. Then I'll clamp it to the bench and I'm starting to cut the windway here with a broaching tool. You can see the window is quite rough. But then once you've done some broaching you can cut the window correctly it's, uh, you can see it's a much cleaner rectangle now and I'm using the knives I've made, one for each side of the lip, cutting in there and then a chisel. Then when you've done this, you basically swap between the broaching and the window cutting until you get the required size and shape. Then you can test it. hasn't been tuned so you then use that knife to cut to tune then you can cut the beak. The Elblag recorder didn't have a beak it was just flat but if you have cut a beak you then have to clean it up I'm using a Swedish carving knife here Then clean up the inside, a bit of power work. Then back to hand work using sandpaper to clean up the inside of the tone holes. Clean up the outside. And then this is my stamp, this is my name stamp. I usually put that on the back of my instruments. Then on the front I use my maker's mark, which is a TM joined together and it's held in a candle, gives it some black, candle black. Then it goes in the oil. Linseed oil stays in for about a week and takes about three weeks to cure once it comes out. You can see it's already changing the colour. So this is what it looks like before, plain wood, and there afterwards it takes on that golden colour and shows up the grain. You can see a nice figure there in that bit of sycamore in the left hand one.
So there you have it, from plank to instrument in about six minutes. Thanks for watching.